Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an ugly location photo shoot challenge. And I saw this kind of floating around the internet and I thought it was a really, really cool idea and I definitely wanted to give it a shot. Uh, so that's what I did. I'm really excited to share the photos that I got with you guys. Uh, as you know, I live in New York, so I noticed a lot of the challenges were going into like different department stores or like fast food. Uh, but I thought I would get a little creative with it since I have New York as a backdrop and there's a lot a huge range uh, of New York, some good, some bad, uh, a lot of ugly areas, but the crazy thing is, is New York is such a creative place and I feel like every spot I could think of that's like ugly has been turned into a photo shoot sometime, somewhere. So uh, I really did my best. I really hope you guys like it. I love the photos and I love how they turned out. So let's get started. location we thought of was a bodega and bodegas if you're unfamiliar with what they are they're basically like a corner market uh, they sell food uh, basic food it's not a full-on grocery sometimes they have a deli in them uh, household items they're usually pretty small and they're not decorated super cute it's kind of a one-stop shop so I thought it'd be a really great opportunity to use this for a challenge so when I was thinking about where I wanted to shoot in the bodega, I was thinking like the chip aisles and doing something fun with like snacks and candy, um, but it was really busy and I wanted to be like the least of a hassle since they were not putting up a fight with us shooting in there as possible. So I was not trying to like have stuff scattered all over the floor or anything like that, um, which in my head that's why, what I envisioned. So I was like, okay, let's go to like the refrigerated section. It's like in the back. Um, not many people are back there. And at the time of day, like literally it was all beer. Um, so no one was really going back there just because of the time of the day. Um, so I was like, okay, I need a prop. No, Something to like pose with I was kind of just using the doors as like ways to position my body it honestly felt really weird and <laughs> uncomfortable because I usually just do outfit photos I don't do any like crazy shoots or anything straddle that door girl <laughs> so basically we just thought we would use a prop because props always make things a little bit easier so we got a milk carton with milk it's a glass or a jug milk jug I think we got a shot though. So funny thing about the milk carton that I was using, I posted this photo as like a teaser on my Instagram and so many of you guys were like concerned that I didn't pay for the milk or I was drinking it and putting it back. First of all, you can't buy those like glass cartons. We had one of those as decor in our apartment. We were using it for flowers so we brought that and I bought almond milk at the bodega, filled it up and like just used it as a prop. So that's it. There's no like huge story behind it. I literally just bought milk, dumped it in and thought it was cute. <laughs> These are the final photos. I absolutely love how they turned out. I think Pat did an amazing job. He did like a bunch of different angles. I think they're super cute. Like I said, I already posted on my Instagram because I liked it. So definitely excited about this one. Moving on to the next location, we decided to go to a subway station. And uh, this is hard because there's been so many photo shoots at subways and they look amazing or in subways and they look great. So I was like, okay, so when we first initially went down the subway station, which mind you, we tried to pick one that was like pretty run down, like the signs were coming off of it, there was like garbage everywhere. Um, so we didn't pick like a really cute one and they do exist, um, like cute subway stations like Grand Central is a really cute popular photo shoot spot. Um, so we tried to pick one that was just a little bit more run down. And initially I was like, okay, I'm gonna pose in front of the train, like when the train is moving, like you've probably seen so many of those photos and it turned out great. Um, these are the ones from in front of the subway. I really like them a lot. I like the movement in the background. I think they're really cool and they definitely look more like a photo shoot. Um, but then I was like, that's too easy. I can't just do that. So I was like, I'm gonna use the like bench um, that you can sit on if you're waiting for a train and usually there's garbage and like the sign and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'm gonna try to sit and like make something cool and chic and like try to be more outfit post about it, like something I would actually want to post. And these are how those turned out. I absolutely love them. I think they're really, really cute. Um, not like my favorite because there's not going lot, a lot going on in the background. It's just kind of a subway, but I definitely think we made the best of it. Uh, so yeah. 
Location number three, this one was spur of the moment. We were actually kind of like hunting down a new location. We thought maybe a laundromat, but then we were like, no, that's another like really popular photo shoot spot. So when we were walking to said laundromat, we saw this really beat down oven next to a trash can. <laughs> Pretty random, and it's very neat. Might as well. We're gonna use it anyway. You know why? Because we're gonna turn up the heat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was amazing. And the funny thing behind this is, if you live in New York or have traveled here a lot and just spend time walking around, you know that this is actually kind of a common thing. I think about a year ago, maybe a little more, Pat and I saw this like really random beaten up couch that's like standing vertical um, on the street. And Pat was like, I want a photo in the couch. And it turned out awesome, which really reminded me of this challenge. So Pat was a very adamant that we use this oven. Uh, so I was like, how am I gonna make this oven look cute? So I was like, prop. Ice cream cone, check. So basically Pat kind of took director lead on this. He had me sit on the oven, use my foot to push open the oven door. Uh, this one was probably the hardest to do for many reasons. One, I was trying to make a really beat down oven next to a trash can look cute, which, ha. Huh. And uh, it was super, super windy. We were on a main street and it was like a Saturday. Everyone was like walking past the Mammy like, oh, this girl is literally modeling on an oven. It was a lot, it was challenging, I was really nervous. Like I was, I was like, oh, I wanna get this done. <laughs> wait, it looks so cool. Wait, I'm gonna wait for the wind. Hold on. Wind? Can we hold? Thank you. <laughs> the funny thing is, here are the images. Love them. I honestly think that they're my favorite from this video. Pat killed it. I think that they look so cool. They're so different. They're definitely not something I would normally pose on. And I just am really proud of how these turned out. I think they're really, really cute. And then our last location. This one is another one that was spur of the moment. I love this one for different reasons. First of all, it took zero time to actually do this photo shoot um, because it was so easy. Like the guy was so cool. Uh, so basically it's like a storefront, uh, souvenir shop, shop, gift shop. Um, it's just, I always like, like I said, it's like with the bodega, like I'm not gonna call it ugly. His stuff, he had really, really cool stuff in there. I was actually posing with some of the sunglasses that were in his shop and they were really cool, really cheap and like really on trend. I was like, the store is awesome, but it's just one of those places that I probably wouldn't pose with like my new cute outfit in front of. So it was a challenge initially, but we got the shot right away because I was like trying on sunglasses and Pat happened to snap when he like held the mirror out for me to look. It's my favorite shot. I think it looks so cool and I love that his hand is in it like holding the mirror. I think it looks really good um, and like all the colors in the background with all the different uh, fabrics in the back looked really, really cool uh, and I thought it was very different. So yay. But that is it for my video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this like challenge video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these or maybe like recreating a celebrity's Instagram. That would be really fun. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.